This heater is pulling about 12 amps and up in the upper left corner, you're gonna see a maximum temperature that the thermal imager is going to focus on and a stopwatch tracking everything in real time. Clearly, we could see the splice on the left heating up very rapidly while the splice on the right isn't. But these are both aluminum to copper splices. So what's going on here? What you're seeing here is a perfect example of what happens over time with these kinds of connections. The splice on the right side is what you get the very day that splice is made. You just installed a new furnace, a new air handler, any other appliance for that matter. And as you can see, there's no overheating. Everything looks perfectly fine and normal. The splice on the left is what happens down the road with time. We have two things going on here, oxidation and creep. The end of the aluminum wire where the fresh splice was just made was stripped back to very clean aluminum, so it's very shiny and new looking. The other end of that aluminum wire on the right, however, was stripped back probably about three or four years ago, so it's been sitting out exposed to the atmosphere and the moisture in the atmosphere, and that creates oxidation. In short, it's pretty dirty wire. Now that creates resistance, and where you have resistance, you're going to have heat. Now aluminum is softer than copper and when it's clamped down under pressure like with a wire nut, it can slowly deform under that pressure. And every time the circuit powers up, it heats up that connection and that just speeds it up even more. So over time that can loosen up the splice connection a little bit which raises resistance and also increases heat. And that's called creep because that's exactly what it does. Little by little over time it just gets worse and worse. Now, as I speed this up, you can see within only two minutes, that wire nut is now starting to get hot as well. Starting to get a little bit soft under that heat and the spring that's inside that wire nut is also starting to deform under that heat. And so that's allowing the connection to loosen up even more. And here we are under three minutes and we're already at the temperatures where some wire nuts are going to begin to melt. The splice on the right that looks normal and has no problems will eventually start doing the same thing as the splice on the left. It's only a matter of time. Now there are wire nuts that are rated for aluminum to copper. Like these purple wire nuts, they have a gel inside of them that helps prevent oxidation. But mechanical connectors like the Polaris, you have to actually torque them down and that helps a little bit better against creep. So the goal isn't just to pass inspection today because if a connection gets hot under a load, that connection becomes the load. 